everybody, this is Praxis, and this morning when I got here to the build site, I have a new visitor for the morning, uh, reminding me it's time to hurry up. Frost all over everything. That's not a surprise, we had a frost advisory for last night, and uh, I uh, you know, knew it was coming, but it's kind of pretty, isn't it? All the swirls of, uh, of frost all over everything. I left this stuff out uh, knowing that it would be damp in the morning, at the very least, probably frosty. Uh, what I'm going to do with all these boards over here, which are wet, and this one which has frost all over it, I'm going to just kind of get them stacked up over there, get them in the sun, let the stuff drip off, and uh, then I can get going with the day, which is going to be more exterior wall boards. Uh, you know, trying to finish up this interior exterior wall in the greenhouse over here. Uh, my dad's coming uh, in a little bit, and we're going to try to finish up the gable end of the roof there with the support structures, the soffit and the fascia, and then get the, this... Uh, trim piece called Denver trim that goes over the whole thing. We'll see if we can finish that up today. I think we got a pretty good shot at it. Uh, and then we would disassemble the deck that's on this roof here and move it down to the, the roof over on the other side to repeat the same process over there where I can put on the exterior wall boards and then we can get the, uh, the ends on up there. Um, what's go what else is going on? Uh, well, uh, as you notice, there's these big triangular shaped holes in the backs of the greenhouses here. Uh, those still don't even have structure in them. I've got to do the, the posts under there, uh, put on the interior wall boards, then put on the foam, put on the strapping, and then I can continue the exterior wall boards across that whole back section there. The one thing that's holding that up is just building materials. Uh, I'm going to be using two by sixes, and while I do have a stack of, of two by sixes right over here, uh, those are some old scrap ones that my dad had had uh, just kicking around. He very generously donated them. Uh, those are all 12 foot long boards, and the boards that I need for this are going to be I need three that are 10 feet, uh, two that are 8 feet, and then uh, one of them uh, that's only a 5 foot board. And it just seemed like a really inefficient use of the 12 foot ones, uh, just creating so much scrap because uh, uh, the the two uh, boards that need to be 10 feet, I actually cut down to like nine something. So it'd just be an awful lot of scrap I'd be generating. So I'm going to the hardware store tomorrow. I'm going to pick up that and a bunch of other things. And then later on in the week, hopefully start getting those uh, walls together. And then we can finish up the, the back here. If you look at it, you know, there's a lot up there. This entire top gable end is, is sheathed. Most of the back wall is sheathed with the exception of those triangle uh, sections. Uh, the, the front of the house is just about half sheathed. I, I stopped, if you recall. Uh, a little ways into the windows because it's just a bunch of those little shorty sections and I didn't want to be cutting up big boards into that little scrap until I you know, used up all the big boards that I knew I was going to use on the rest of the house. Uh, but that front should go really fast because it's just a bunch of little short boards. So we're getting there. I mean, uh, quite, a bit, uh, quite a bit of it is done, but you know, we get a frost and things are not going to get warmer from here. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, pressure to keep going and uh, I think River wants me for something. Done with your school activity? I guess so. That's it. Thanks for watching.